The nuclear sector. Now, what do you know about the parts that are machined and made within this area? Well, I'm with Lee Scott from Starag. Um, part of this series of episodes that we're doing here at MTDC is all about the large part machining systems from the Starag Group, one of your uh, fields of expertise. Um, nuclear part machining, Lee, what's, talk us through some of the parts that would be made and, and how your machines fit in this area. Typically for us, the, the, the parts of a, of a nuclear unit would, would be the vessels themselves. So there's an inner and outer to a vessel and maybe the heat exchanger as well. So not so much complicated machines, but multiple faceted machines with different features and, and a lot of difficult materials to cut and different uh, areas to access, if you like. I would guess they're very high value parts, aren't they? They're super high value and, and they're extremely critical. You know, and, and an assembled nuclear vessel has to be safely in operation for upwards of 50 years. Mm, and, and I mean, is our, how big is our market here in the UK for you in this area? Is there lots of opportunity? Um, got to be careful what I say, but um, there is opportunity coming through now. Um, opportunity is limited because uh, a lot of the products that have been installed in the UK today are already certified with a, with, a, with a manufacturing base elsewhere in the world. But in terms of opportunity globally for us, it, it's big. I think the opportunities within the UK will increase in the next 10, 20 years as the, as the UK's nuclear um, business in, increases. And the materials that you talk about then, I mentioned high value parts and you say they might be harder, uh, more difficult materials to machine. What would they typically be for the, for the nuclear sector? T typically, uh, most components are clad, clad in a, a, either a stainless steel or an inconel type material. So you might have a, a base metal material, maybe some kind of steel, um, and then, a, like I say, an inconel or a stainless steel material. And the machines we see here, large part machining, clearly um, on the screen we were illustrating just uh, one or two of the products that you supply. Is there a niche area of your machines that fit perfectly within uh, nuclear manufacture? I think for us, our focus is on uh, Doris and Drupal and Rhine range products, um, where, where we're looking at multitasking machines that will, uh, will, will turn, but mill and grind as well, where we've got a lot of head, change, head changing technology and functionality. So we can produce a single component in a single setup where it might go on two or three different machines. You know, and these machines weigh, through these components weigh several tons. So to move them around is a problem. And also automation for us is a big thing. It's something the industry has not embraced really, but having a machine standing waiting with a big part on it's not acceptable, spindles have to turn. So if we automate the components, have two pallets for example, or, or, or move components around on a rail guided system, that's gotta be a benefit. And these, you, you have a CMM certification as well or something you mentioned to me on, on your machines. Is that relate here? It can relate here. Yeah, we, we do have machines over in Europe that are CMM certified. So not only can they machine components, but they can also inspect components as well and be certified to inspect components. And what about industry four in this area? It's massive for us and, and it's born out of the aerospace industry for us. So we've driven industry four into these uh, large machines through, through aerospace and most large machines don't have this kind of capability. So we collect a lot of data. We use a lot of data to make sure machines are ready. We use a lot of data to track the quality of a system from start to finish through, throughout the whole process, um, as well as the automation and, and, and linking machines and systems together as well. And haven't you got uh, an installation at the AMRC? Sure, we, we've, we've got a Doris five metre table diameter VTL machine with, with, with milling drilling capability at the, AM, at the nuclear AMRC. And, and this is a great platform for companies who want to develop processes offline for, for the nuclear industry and similar, similar industries.